do not see war in the images of war presented in films and novels, nor in the mythic narratives the government and the press spins out for us. We never saw war in the televised images from Iraq. The war is always carefully packaged the way tobacco or liquor companies package their own poisons. The titillation is there, but in doses we can digest. The reports give war a coherency and logic it never has in battle. We taste a bit of war's exhilaration, but are safe. War from Iraq is seen through the prism of the U.S. military, and it comes complete with manufactured heroes, feel-good stories about our own, and an enemy that it is always painted as barbaric and uncivilized. We can thrill in the perversity of war, even as we watch films or read books that are meant to denounce war. It is almost impossible to produce anti-war films or documentaries that present images of battle. It is like trying to condemn pornography while showing erotic love scenes. The prurient fascination with violent death always overpowers the message.